Very good morning to you all. We're going hunting, boys. Welcome from the uh, Anantara Desert Islands Resort and Spa in Abu Dhabi. Uh, it's on Saban Yassi Island. And we're going hunting. So we've got a safari booked. Beautiful hotel, just checked out. Absolutely beautiful hotel, love it. Yeah, we're going safari. This island is uh, the largest island in the UAE. And uh, I've got the uh, truck waiting. Can look at some uh, giraffe, cheetahs. So I'm just walking out the front of the hotel. Ready. Beautiful hotel. 9.8 out of 10. All right. So we'll see you uh, at the park. There's the trucks to go. It's safari. It's my truck. We're going hunting, boys. Do they attack people? Um, the males tend to be quite aggressive yeah, at a yeah. certain time of the year. If you look at the one feeding right now, you can see the red, the, the legs are very red. In the beak, you also see it's very red. Yeah. Now, they're getting in the breeding plumage, which means that they are quite aggressive. The mm -hmm. testosterone level in the body is extremely high. So, they will not attack you because they're carnivores or anything like that. They will attack to defend the area to show dominance. <coughs> I had ostrich meat in South Africa. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very healthy meat. Oh, yeah. I think they like each other. That's the first signs where they start to groom themselves. Yeah, yeah, they're eating together. Uh, they actually... Uh, the thing about ostrich, um, they will mate per season. Per season, so every season they will get a new mate. Uh -huh. But if they mate, both the male and female will look after their eggs. Yeah. Um, the male will usually have night shifts because it's dark in the it's a bit of camouflage during the night. Yep. The female will have day shifts. Right, so both of them will sit on the nest, both of them will raise the young ones on the big enough, then they separate from each other again. And then start all over again next start year. Start all over again next year. <laughs> In my day, mate. There we yeah. go. Fantastic. Beautiful. They're beautiful, beautiful animals, beautiful. aren't they? Right, so you'll see that uh, there is a lot of animals gathered together. Like I said, it's a feeding point. We have to supply them with extra nutrients and minerals, especially the animals that is not native to the desert. Mm -hmm. Beautiful black. 
blackbirds with the spiral horns. They're called Indian blackbirds. It's one of the fastest antelopes in the world. Uh -huh. They can run up to about 80 kilometers per hour and keep that speed up for quite a bit. Now that is the males. That is black in color with the spiral horns. The females are copper colored. Um, if you look at that one right next to the male standing there, yeah. that is a very young male. The females are also that color, but without the horns. Yeah. <coughs> Yesterday they said there's uh, 15,000 animals here. That's correct. How many giraffe? We've done in total on the island 35 giraffe. Okay. But in the park where we're in now, only 12. Because we got to the point where we had to separate males and females from each other to control the breeding. Okay. So they're not in danger of extinction then? Which ones? The giraffe. No, you have to separate the males and females. The specific species we've got is not. It's called the reticulated giraffe. Uh -huh. It's the... Um, the head is almost as big as the gazelle. Um, anyway, it's uh, the reticulated giraffe that we've got are not endangered. Yeah, Two yeah. Males having a bit of a race. Yeah, there. yeah. It is getting into breeding season for the majority of the animals, so the males are pretty much all puppet of their testosterone. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they want to show dominance who is the biggest and the strongest round. It's quite hilly despite being like a desert island. Right, well it's just in the middle of the island where we have the, the mountains, the so-called mountains, and that was all formed by a salt pillar that got pushed up and brought up all the, all the different layers that you can see right now. Mm -hmm. They look tasty as well, yeah, to cook and eat. So are they all the same species? Because these ones look huge. Um, it's just my age, pretty much. Yeah. Well, of course, this one and that one is not the same species. It's the same as our item. This one is definitely not as old as the previous one, you can tell it by the colour of it. So this one is younger? This one is a little bit younger and that one walking in front is even younger. Um, the, the older they get, the darker in colour they will be.
amazing sight there. See how dark in colour he is. Yeah. Don't write. Don't write. Sorry, Pretty much just patrolling the area just just yeah. to see what's going on where they are. Right, so both of these ones were kept in a breeding center and we released them on the island and pretty much taught them how to hunt and how mm -hmm. to survive as well. Cheetah they look after themselves completely right now, which is a very very good thing to have. As in the UAE, you don't really have wild cheetah anymore. Um, all of them are pretty much captive. Yeah. As well as Yeah, so that was a safari, it's pretty good. That's the Jeep. Yeah, we're on this uh, Banias Island in Abu Dhabi at the uh, Anantara Hotel. So we finished the tour, we're gonna get a boat. We're gonna get a boat to the mainland. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, thanks. 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 Up in the the Cheers mate. Um, that gentleman will tell you where you can wait so you can just wait yep. there. Yep. 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 Thanks, mate. Thank you. Yes, place. So it's a 20 minute boat ride to the mainland, one of those boats. Alright, ciao.